A little while ago, Janice Yellen denied that, that there was going to be inflation. And now she's denying that there's going to be a recession. Well, people on the ground disagree with her. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki disagrees too. Here are some of his comments and predictions for crypto. A month ago, when crypto started diving, he said he plans to buy Bitcoin when the bottom is in. And then he says that he believes that Bitcoin can crash to about 17,000. I think he's probably right around right. I've seen quotes as low as 13,000, 17,000. All of those feel like it's somewhere in that range where this collapse is going to take us to when we finally bought them out. But overall, I agree with his strategy that buying Bitcoin now is the right thing to do. And today we're talking about why on Renegade News. Welcome back to Renegade News. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. Every week on this channel, we discuss the latest news, strategies, and tactics for breaking free from the system, paying less tax, and living anywhere in the world that you want. So let's dive right into it. We're being set up right now for one of the biggest changes in world history. Last month, Robert Kiyosaki said that the biggest bubble burst is coming. He called the government, Wall Street, and the Federal Reserve thieves. I think you know, I agree with him on all of those things. He also said that hyperinflation and depression are here and that the US dollar was about to implode. And he's been blaming President Biden for causing that inflation. Again, I'm on the same page with Mr. Kiyosaki. However, he believes that cryptocurrency is going to win in the end because America is being led by the three stooges. Kiyosaki's outlook for crypto is not all smooth sailing though. He did warn that eventually he expects that the government's going to seize all cryptocurrencies and fold them into government crypto. Fortunately, you and I know that that probably isn't possible. There's certain things they could do with some of the cryptos and Bitcoin isn't as private as we thought it was or as fungible as we thought it was going to be. But there's always going to be, at the very least, privacy coins in our back pocket for times when privacy matters. So in other words, all the time. With Lightning Network, Bitcoin has solutions for all of this. So fortunately, I don't believe that Kiyosaki is right in that regard. But anyway, he subsequently said that the Russia-Ukraine war was giving a rise to crypto as a safer haven than government fake fiat money. And that we absolutely agree on. By the way, if you're interested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, but don't know where to start, check out the first pinned comment. We have an action plan that will take you from zero to buying, selling, and trading Bitcoin in just a few minutes, completely guaranteed. And speaking about buying, you know, and I know that with both stocks and crypto, you want to buy when there's blood in the streets. And while the headlines are in this talking about bear markets and crashing Bitcoin and crashing stocks, and the market is truly losing significant value. There are other stories in the news, like one about Warren Buffett. It turns out that even though Mr. Buffett has been calling Bitcoin rat poisoning, he's also been buying. For example, he's just invested over a billion dollars in the past few months in a crypto friendly bank and there's other investments from Buffett going on as well because Buffett knows what the rest of us need to remember that when the news is full of what just happened and when we are tempted to think in terms of extrapolation rather than cycles buying when others are fearful is usually a very smart option so let me put this in some starker terms Right now, many people are selling their crypto and their stocks, but we're talking primarily about crypto here. Most people are stock selling because of fear. Some of them are holding on to cash, trying to avoid the pain of loss, but yet the world's greatest investor, as we call them, is out there buying. So are many other crypto investors. So isn't there a chance that we should spend less time contemplating our losses and a little more time emulating a man who has spent decades of demonstrating the value of long-term investing, or you can be like the smart money and try to time the market and guess at macro forecasts, trade in and out, check your brokerage a dozen times a day and let the noise overwhelm you. One way or the other, we're in for rocky seas over the next few years. Inflation, recession, further reductions in privacy and freedom, they're all on the menu right now. But some of us aren't scared. There's this movement of renegade entrepreneurs who are dedicated to escaping this broken system, making more money, paying less tax, and living more independently than most people think is possible. You can find out more information about this movement in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to Renegade News right now for the latest in crypto, business, investing, lifestyle, and asset protection. And check out the video you see on the screen right now for our latest upload. I'm Glenn Kowalski from Renegade News, and I'll see you over there.